Hi, welcome back. A number of you have commented that uh, when using the Orion micro welder, the jump ring in welding the small jump rings, that they seem to explode. And it doesn't matter what kind of power setting you're using. So today I want to do a little experiment, a, a demonstration for you with different power settings as well as different shape of the electrode um, in the stylus. I hope that um, you find this interesting, if not helpful. Okay, so for my demonstration, I have a piece of sterling silver here, and I am going to mark it with a line, one side for sharp and the other one for dull electrode. And I am going to use different power settings to zap it. And then you can see how deep the markings are compared um, with different power settings as well as sharp and dull electrode. I start with power setting of five watts and increase two and a half watts each time. So now you can see there's a slight difference in the size. The bigger the weld mark on this, the more powerful it would be if you were welding um, a jump ring. And it's worth noting that most of the small jump rings that you weld in permanent jewelry, you'd want five to seven watts. Um, I have used 30 watts to actually weld together a giant washer and screw together and uh, let me tell you it's very very powerful and you'll see that at higher wattage the pits in the silver that it creates um, is significant so you can imagine what would happen with mel um, welding small jump rings for the next part of this demo I'm going to use a dulled electrode and it can get dull through use over time and just keep it clean with a steel wool or you can actually use a nail file or a dremel to make it slightly duller and the effect is that it is not as powerful but I'm going to give you a closer look a little later on. So now I'm going to show you the other trick of flipping the electrode the other way around so that it is completely flat. This is a trick that the Sunstone engineers who make the Orion micro welder have suggested for anyone who is struggling with too much power even at the lowest setting. So this is the comparison of the results of sharp, dull, and completely flat electrode. Um, Take notice that I have argon gas, but there's still a bit of fire scale. And I'm gonna erase it, and here is the result. Note that on the sharp side, when at high, very high power, you're blowing little craters into the silver. And there is a significant difference between dull and completely flat. I hope you have found this to be useful. There are subtle tweaks that can provide you with absolute perfect control in your welding. Thanks for watching. I'm a wholesaler of premium quality chains and components, and I'm gonna leave a link below as well as information on the Orion Micro Welder.